Robin Hood was a hero of medieval legends. There are different myths which build Robin Hood's present character who helps the poor and the oppressed. In the 15th century, Robin was believed to be a dangerous highwayman out of humble beginnings who mocked grasping churchmen and peers. In the 16th and 17th century, Robin was known as a protagonist in social justice who takes rich people's property to give it to the poor ones. In doing so, the robber has the help of his friends. The most famous members of the Merry Men are Little John, Friar Tuck and Will Scarlet. They are all outlaws and hid from the Sheriff of Nottingham in the Forest of Nottingham. However, nobody can prove Robin Hood as a real historic figure. In the 13th century, all outlaws were called Robin Hood. The present character Robin Hood was an outlaw whose worst enemies were the Sheriff of Nottingham and the Abbot of St. Mary's in York. The Sheriff was his enemy because Robin impinged against the hunting ban in royal forests, the Abbot because of a family tragedy. Robin was supposed to earn his uncle's stately home. Though Landlord Gamewell died, Robin was not at his side, and the sneaky Abbot made Gamewell to sign a document which included to deny his complete property to the church. Robin Hood and his merry men hid in Nottingham Forest, not to be killed by his enemies. He was very foolish and cunning in arranging intrigues against the sheriff and the abbot. Furthermore, Robin was an outstanding bowman. He was very popular because he was the sheriff's antagonist who was really disliked and that he helped the poor and needy people. This half safeguarded by mugging churchmen and peers and gave their goods to the poor. There are two different ends of Robin Hood. At first the sad one, then the one with the happy end. Robin Hood was very old and he feared that he was ill. To get well soon, Robin and little John saw his aunt. But she wanted to kill Robin because of different reasons. So she cut through one of Robin's arteries and drenched him a poison. Using the last of his strength, Robin called his friend Little John and together they draw Robin's bow. The robber's last wish was to be interred at that place where the archer hit the ground. After his death, his friends accomplished Robin's last desire. The happy end traces back to Richard the Lionheart. He was king of England. When Richard came back from his crusades, he heard a lot of Robin Hood so he decided to get to know the robber. So Richard, who was in the guise of a friar, rode into the forest of Nottingham. There he met a man who invited him to a feast. During the feast, Robin introduced him, his friends and his wife, Lady Marian, while Richard said that he was here with the royal message. At first he asked Robin about his opinion to King Richard, and secondly, if he would be contented to serve him. Robin described the king as a fair person and affirmed the second question. There Richard the Lionheart identified himself. He reprieved Robin and a part of his friends and they were obedient. One day Robin, who was longing forward to the forest of Nottingham, returned to the forest. There he tooted his hunting horn whereby he former convened the merry man. His friends flocked to him, and Robin was not able to leave Nottingham Forest and his friends. 